Hi, in this video we're going to talk about Hooke's Law. Hooke's Law is the law we use when we talk about the force acting on spring. First of all, the definition of Hooke's Law is the extension of spring is directly proportional to the force acting on the spring without exceeding its elastic limit. It is important because in exam they might ask you to write the definition of Hooke's Law. Even if you cannot memorize the whole line, you have to memorize these few keywords. They are extension of spring, directly proportional, force, and without exceeding its elastic limit. So, let's check the diagram to help you understand better. As you can see, there is a spring and it is holding an object. So the object has force acting on it and X is the extension. F is the force. After that, let's check the graph. In Hooke's Law, you always have to see a graph. In the graph, at first it will be straight, after that it will be curved. Why? It's because that it is directly proportional at first within the elastic limit and it has over the elastic limit after it is curved. So we have to memorize how to draw it. After that, let's move on to the formula. In formula of Hooke's Law, it is F equals to Kx. F is force, K is spring constant, X is extension. Force has a unit of Newton, which is n. Spring constant, Newton per cm. Extension is cm. So what is spring constant? Spring constant is about the stiffness of spring. When spring constant is higher, means it's stiffer. Spring constant lower, it is softer. So it's everything about Hooke's law now. If you don't understand, please leave a comment below and let me know. I'll solve your problem. Remember, extension of spring is depends on the force acting on it thank you